Oh. My knee hurts. Good evening. Let us take a look at Task Changer. Go ahead and tap on Task Changer and then you'll see the in-use switch where you can toggle the whole thing on and off, just like in the other ones. And then right below it, there's Layout Type and this is where the magic happens. We'll start with Stack and then hit the Recents button and then here's the iOS looking stack of apps. Now what, you see the little ripples right there? That is the attention to detail that I did not see or don't usually see in like alternative task changers or alternative lock screens or things of that nature. They did a really good job with making all this really fluid. Next we'll go to list and then hit recents again. This is the closest thing that you can get to the old version of the way the recents looked. But again, very smooth, very fluid, and very nice. Closest you can get to the old card stack look or having as many recent applications at once on the screen to pick from. Anyone who really misses the way Pi used to look, this is the best one for you out of all of them. <clears throat> Unless of course you prefer something else. To close apps just swipe to the side and all will be well. Now let's go to grid. This one I thought was really nice. This might be like a tie to the list version. Uh, these are all apps that you can open in multi-window. This might be a tie to the list version as well as all the on-screen apps at once. Now if you'll notice, if you tap and hold, then it will give you not only an option for opening it in a pop-up window, but also for opening it in split screen for the ones that it's compatible with, which I found very, very nice because there was a gentleman on the on one of the videos that said that he wished that this right here was still there and still a thing now it is then once we go here to carousel we get presented with a few more options they give you the same tap and hold options as they did with the other ones however there are multiple different ways you can tell it to show you this carousel look this is the default here where it kind of like comes in from the top or rolls in from the bottom or however you'd like to say it. Scroll effect. Let's check out scale next. Now upon hitting the recents button they start small on the sides and then get big as you scroll past them. That's nifty. Moving on to rotation down the tops are tilted away from it as you as they scroll away and then are made upright as they get in front of you. Kind of like if you were holding a hand of cards. By enabling mini mode it basically shortens all of the thumbnails and just puts them down closer to the bottom of the screen although I don't really know why that's there because whether you swipe from the top of the tall app screen icons or the bottom you can still either select them or clear them out but it's nice to have that option and finally we have center the currently running app this was a welcome addition to many who expressed displeasure at the way Android Pie or at least Samsung's version of it switched to the running app that's right beside the current one whenever we, you hit the recents button. That annoyed a lot of people and I mean it kind of got annoying to me too but now they have fixed it. Keep multitasking and stay beaming.